guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your ASUS ExpertBook P2451F or what you actually can upgrade on it and, and of course you're gonna see how you can open up this machine and we're gonna have a closer look on the components as well. First things first, uh, you need a very standard Phillips screwdriver. I'm using 57-in-1, it's a great little uh, tool for other jobs as well by the way, so I do recommend it. I'm gonna leave the link in the description, so if you are interested, go and purchase one for yourself. Okay, you have to remove all the screws from the back panel. They're all the same length, so no need to separate them. It's, it's great actually, so makes the job a bit easier. Once the screws are removed, you need a little plastic tool, or if you don't have one, I do recommend using something plasticky or just even use your fingers. If you're good enough like that, don't use metal, don't use uh, knives or anything, you will break your laptop, so don't recommend it anyway. And the base comes off easy enough as you see, so it will not take you long time. That's it, that's gone off now, excellent. And just show you the closer look on this back panel now as well as you see the model number there and other bits as well and the inside look as well just in case if you're looking for spare part you want to see how it looks inside i don't know okay we have great news here it is upgradable you don't see it yet but it is it is excellent i'm just gonna go through the some components that's the battery with the serial number now same thing again if you're looking for spare easier that's your battery connection battery wire whatever and uh, under that is your solid state drive and two ram sticks great absolutely excellent actually you can upgrade that laptop that is good news that's both of your ram sticks now at the moment as you see two by eight two sticks by eight gigabyte is installed at the moment this uh, laptop has 16 gigabyte of ram and that's your solid state drive I'm gonna upgrade both of them, so in total this laptop will have 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte uh, hard drive. So good news here. That's your CPU under that, of course, and uh, that's your CPU fan, of course, and Wi-Fi card. Good one as well, by the way. And it does look like this laptop actually has 2.5 inch hard drive space. There's no caddy there or there's no ribbon to motherboard, but there seems to be a connection there anyway. I don't know, haven't tested. If anyone has, let us know. That's a closer look now on components as well. Model number again, if you're looking for the same one. And that's the connection for the battery. That's your solid state drive, of course, Western Digital, digital 256 gigabyte. Good drive, actually, just probably not enough space to do bigger one. That's your RAM, stick number one, and the second one right next to it there. So as I said, 16 gigs in total. That's your DC. It's solder to motherboard, so if, if it breaks or anything, you will have to desolder that and solder the new one. That's your CPU fan. BIOS battery, of course, and your Wi-Fi card as well. And if you want to see some specs like CPU and stuff, I'm going to put later into Windows after upgrading and obviously after installing Windows again. So you're going to see specs like very basic specs now. I'm not going to go through huge detail there. You'll see the CPU and all that. Okay, I'm going to upgrade the RAM. Remove the... Oh, okay, sorry. Before you actually start upgrading anything, I do recommend uh, disconnecting battery just for safety that you won't short anything on motherboard while uh, removing RAM or solid state drive. You can leave it connected. I left it a good few times, nothing happened, but just, you know, for safety. That's your RAM. Stick number one, eight gigs. I'm not sure was that original there or was that upgraded already by someone. And that's your second stick. Eight gigabyte as well. And I'm gonna install 16 16 by 2 by integral. Good RAM. Same thing, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. So if you're looking for a similar same one, it's gonna be easier for you to find. They're not too expensive either, so it is great upgrade now. And easy enough as you see as well. Anyone can do that, literally. 
and that's your second stick now. Excellent, RAM upgrading done, as you see it was simple enough. And that's your solid state drive, use the same screwdriver again, hold in place just with one screw. Comes out easy enough now as well, I have to say. There we go. If someone asks me what size is that screw, I have no idea. I, I actually, good few people asked that in the past. I don't know, probably should do my homework and actually find out what size they are, but I have no idea. So don't, do not ask me. Okay, that's a closer look now on the drive what was in it. 256 gigabyte and I'm gonna replace that with one terabyte of Samsung that's your Samsung drive now 970 Evo plus great drives not too expensive either same thing I'm gonna leave the link in the description so if you want the same one go and purchase that yourself use them many many times before so you can recommend them obviously there's faster ones out there now so it's up to you, of course. You want faster run, buy a faster run. As for storage, no one terabyte should be really enough for anything, really. So, and same thing. Now I haven't tested two terabyte on this laptop, so I don't know. Does it support? I would think it will support, but I cannot guarantee that. So, if someone has done it leave the comment would be quite happy about that now that's it same screw goes back in and we are done upgrading just connect the battery again push the metal clip back excellent upgrading done little uh, metal cover what was on the ram and the solid state drive goes back on I, I kind of I do sometimes get a little excited so I left that out actually a few times and closed the laptop and then realized oh I left something out to have to open again so like just for yourself now make sure it's back on probably not a big thing if you do, do forget and if you're not, not gonna put that back at all I'd say you'll be okay like but just the fact that it was there I'm gonna put it back Press it in nice and gently, that's it. We are done upgrading, as I said, back panel goes back. Same way as you took it out. You just have to press it in now, you can hear the little clicks. You know it's nicely in there. Yeah, you can see that. And just to screw back the screws and you're done with upgrading. And of course you have to reinstall Windows after you change your solid state drive, so it's gonna take you additional 30 minutes probably, but not a big deal. Easy enough to do it these days. Okay, we're gonna boot to Windows and I'm gonna just go over a few specs now. You can see actually upgrading works, RAM works, solid state drive works, everything is absolutely 100%. Okay, right click now on this PC, go to properties, just show you the RAM, it is 32 gigs there as you see, excellent, and your obviously model number there, and CPU as well, it's a 10th generation i5 Intel CPU, and 30, 32 gigs of RAM as well. Just gonna go to device manager as well for a second just to show you the hard drive and all that very basic now i'm not gonna go into detail as i said before there you go there's a disk drive samsung 970 evo plus one terabyte display adapter of course it's intel ultra hd graphics Okay, that's pretty much it, guys, boys, girls. If you are happy with this tutorial or whatever you may call it, like the video, leave the comment and subscribe, of course. And you know what? Have an absolutely wonderful life. Bye bye.